כן, קונים. Festival at Batu Caves. Uh, Nandajan is married to Winnie, his wife here, and we welcome her too also. Now they have two children. Uh, so without much further ado, it is my great pleasure to uh, invite Nandajan Raja to do his presentation on the Naka Chitis. I can assure you it's going to be a very interesting talk. Thank you. Over to you, Director. Uh, very good evening to everybody. Uh, as Mr. Colin has uh, introduced me, Mr. Nandarajan, my name. Uh, today, my father is a chitty, my mother is a pirate, and I'm a mix of uh, chitty and pirates. So I look a bit more fair, that is a So whatever you know, the Chichi 
is the uh, biggest group and he got a lot of shit. So this happened with all these people from the Rajas, the uh, Patel, uh, the Konal, the, Konan, the Pile, Udalia, all these cars is under the TP group. You see, why he got, he got all these cars? The Raja represents for their work. If you are Dhobi, that means your name is Nathanajan Dhobi. If your name is Nathanajan Kona, you are taking care of all the animals in the farm. If your name is Arunagiri Patel, that means you are the making goose meat. So the Patel, the behind, the behind say, is, they call it the plant, is where they show you what is on top. If not today, I cannot say my name is Nathanajan Raja, they say what Nathanajan is, what your job is. This is an Indian person. In India, they put this way, so they got, like my name is Raja Raja Raja, I got so many uh, Raja on there. I got Raja Dobi, Raja Babu. So all these is represent their job actually. They said, you could be mistaken. But nowadays, the Indian won't put their name behind there, the fillet, this one, because they say, it's not meaningful. And one more thing is that, why? Because when you are parias, the lower caste, Parias, very low caste, and they are not allowed. See the parias, they are not allowed to come to your house. If they want to bring their, if you want to bring any food, you have to take another plate, different plate, and give them. You cannot take that your plate that you eat and give them. Because that is the way they put them in the lower caste. So the parias only they don't mix around, and they are not allowed to marry to the higher caste. But today, that's why right. I asked one Indian man, uh, there's a road class coming to my house to see me. So he asked me, you will not give him to come here. I said, why? He is also human, but you know, he's a very low class. I said, no, you cut your blood, the blood is red or yellow. So I said, what I the same. For me, it's all the same. No, I cannot differentiate all the cars because in our healthy system, I cannot be looking at the road class, higher class, that is not my name. Chetty or Chetty, a board of quotation. This one is in the paper. We argue in the paper within my community. See, one of the trustees telling me, when you buy a rose, all the roses smell the rose same. But I say no. When you buy the rose, there's different color. The smell might be the same, but the color is different. So today we cannot change the word Chetty, 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 all. We don't know why. So the only word is TT is correct. C-H-I-T-T-Y is the correct word. The British Sultanate of Malacca from the 15th century AD onwards, Parameh Wasara was a Hindu prince. Islamization, this Islamization of Sultan did not alternate the Hindu rights and the Hindu from the palace. So during this Sultanate palace, Parameh Wasara is the first one who led the Malacca. And before Parameh Wasara, they say that the city in the big palace was in Malacca. But there is no return because you see the Indians, they never write anything. They don't write, they don't want to write anything on the people. They say they put their name. Not like the British or the Dutch or the Portuguese or the Chinese. That's why when we, the city is find difficult to get all the documents because why? They never written any document. Only certain certain documents when the uh, older, when the next generation. They are very educated, they don't want to jump down. But the whole generation is over. They see when I die, I think together. So uh, today we got problem. But I really dig up and we got everything what we want. pre matter period, Indian influence in South Indonesia dated back more than 2,000 years. This is where the Indian is, uh, influence was dated back in 2000, where they went all over the world. The Mauritius, in, the, uh, in Indonesia, in anywhere, in South Africa also they went. So they are dedicated in South East Asia. Veda Samhita visited the Indian merchant voyage to many destinations in BC. So this Veda is the word of the Sanskrit words. Really. So they would only this one. The Ramayana, Ramayana epic that was written in the 3rd century BC mentioned Java, Deepa, Nietzsche, in northern South East Asia. So the Ramayana epic is written something about the 3rd century BC, mentioned about the Kitty who travel. 
So that's only that part, only a small part. But other than that part, nothing. So that's why the GP is not well. They only come to, from India, come to Malaysia and go back. That's you, they do. Sila Patikaran, a tenor epic written between the 2nd and the 9th century AD, refers to the types of material brought through expedition to the Southeast Asia. This one is an epic written by one Indian. That means the 2nd to 9th centuries, there is a material brought by the expedition to the Southeast Asia. Classical literature in Jan and Gujarati languages shows the influence of Bharat in South Asia. This Languages was influenced by Marathis from the South Asia by the Gujarat because those days Gujarat was from Malabar, the Chittis and the Parsi people, they are the traders. So, influence of these people. The region was known as Swarna Bumi during that year. In Malaysia, in the, the map of Black Malaysia, is called Swarna Bumi those days, not Malaysia, by the Indians, not by the local year. By the Indians, it's called Swarna Bumi. Pre-Mata period, local rulers embraced Hinduism, Buddhism, Hindu Buddhist names were accepted. Those days, the local rulers, like the Raja Sultan or the rulers, rulers of Lekkan, they accept the Hinduism and the Buddhism, they call it before Islamic. Hindu rites were accepted, so Hindu rites were accepted and they practiced Hindu style. The Hindu traders needed accommodating rulers for the, their trade to forest. So, the Hindu traders, they need a community to stay and by between the rulers, they are trade one to the forest. So this is what happened in the city centre, rulers took place. Providing the religious ready for the local rulers once such step. So they provide the religious of Hindu. Hindu local rulers was one such step so that the Hinduism would be there. Because those days the Hinduism is very powerful before it's done. Pre-Malaka period day, 3 century AD, there was evidence Hindu, Buddhism, Hindus in the Bujang Valley. So, in the Bujang Valley, they found out that the 3rd century of AD, there is evidence of Hindu and the Buddhism in them. Until today, there is a Hindu. But some part was lost. I never been there. I tried to find, but I lost over here. So, Kata is named Skeda. You see, the word Kata, Kataha, is named Skeda. There is one region in India by name of this. So they brought from India all these names and put them. And they now they change to Kedah. Sri Vijaya, Lanka Sukha, Majapaya. So this is the, uh, uh, what they call the invaders who was very big powerful during Sri Vijaya, Lanka Sukha, and the last is Majapaya. Rajendra Chola one in 10. 25 AD liberated Kata from Sri Vijaya. So during that time, the Sri Vijaya liberated Kata from Sri Vijaya. They mean Kata from the Sri Vijaya region. The Malay language had by now absorbed lots of Sanskrit, Tamil, Indian words in their vocabulary due to the influence. So a lot of languages they taken from the Sanskrit and Tamil. See, some of the words we use also in Tamil, some of the words in Sanskrit. So like Kedai, we say Kedai is from Tamil word and we say Kedai. So this is between the Tamil language they use. Malacca. Early 15th century, Malacca was founded by Parameswa, a Hindu prince for Palimbang. So during 15th century, Malacca was founded by Parameswa, there is a Hindu prince from Palimbang. And that time also, the traders were doing not much. There is a small trading on the other. But there is only that it says that the Chichi, they say the big belly uh, stomach with white cloth was there. The Indian traders were the dominant group among others. So the Indian traders was a bigger group from the Gujarat and from the Malabas. Many become close to the palace and become involved in palace affairs. Most of them, they are good to their rulers. Because of what? Because they are trading. So they were good. And they involved a lot in Paris those days. Indians were referred as clay. The clay and a clay village emerged from the traders and their helpers. Okay, this is a very sensitive word for the claims, the Indians. Normally the Indians when they call the claim, they say it's a very bad word. So but I told them it's not a very bad word. Actually, we should be proud. God was using those days only 
before Christ, I don't know, I think before Christ, what's the claim? Those days they call Bruno Clay. It's not Bruno India, nothing India. And the clay word is come from the Kalinga Patana. Kalinga Patana is one of the town. In the name of Kalinga, a lot of traders will be there. So the word clay come from that one because why when you come to all over the world, their language they spoke is different. If you ask somebody in Portuguese spoke, they will spoke Kalinga Patana. Kalinga, the Patana, you don't know where they went. And you put a Chinese more better, Kalinga, Kalinga. Ah, maybe it's clay, it becomes clay. The end of the day, then you went away, what? Oh, the ship from Kalinga. So the word clay come up from that day. So that is why the clay is, actually, to me, it's very, I should be proud when they call me clay. I have to tell you, why? You lost your hand or what? Nothing, what? Yeah, you should be proud, what? The clay was used very long time, during so time, you should be good. It should be okay, what? But I said, no, 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 clay, you don't know why. Hey, you know, Adam and Island. The version says that they use the bell and they walk, but they sound clean, clean, clean. I said, not that. Ah. <laughs> cannot be that way, like, the clean, clean cannot be. Then some say, because of the, the bell, clean, clean, I said, no, la, that is not la. The clean is a very nice word where they use those days in Kalina Patana. Because of a lot of people in Lanka, the, spook, the language they spoke is different, different people become great. So today we have to accept the clean. <laughs> But anyhow, playing also sometimes they fight with me. They argue with me, but I say no. They say, you are a cheating. No, I say, I am one part of you. But, uh, a part of you, even though I'm, I speak Malay, but I'm part of the Hindu. But if you say playing also, I'm playing also what? <laughs> Mecca. Mecca rulers embarrass the Islamic religion through the Indian traders. Okay. This is not Islamic religion through the Indian traders by the Malabas. And they, uh, they, are, uh, they call them uh, the Indian Gujarat, Chan Gujarat, they are Muslim. So they, are, they uh, try to bring up the Islamic re uh, religion to the Arabs. The good relation between the rulers and the Indian traders, both Hindu as well as the Muslim continue. So the Indians, they got no objection to the Muslim, because they are good. In India, they are good. They are like science that they can do. So there is no objection in there. Whatever you want to bring your religion, you can bring whatever you want to do bring it in your place. That is a business, it says. The Malay and the Sajara Malayan has numerous references to Kampung Klee and Tanjung Klee. There is, uh, you see, the Malay and the Malayan have written like Tanjung Klee and Kampung Klee. Kampung Klee, I think, somewhere around here. Uh, Kampung Klee was formerly by the Chichis. They stay there. But after that, something happened. I think it burned up after that. So they went to Kampung Tegera. So now they are in Kampung Gajadera. Uh, Gajadera also got two versions. One say Kandipura, one say Gajang is uh, Mikamu. So which version we also don't know. But more of them they say it's Kandipura, 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 Gajadera, Gajadera. Cannot be one. I know it's Gajadera, it's Gajang. That is those days my father told me. Gajadera is where uh, those days the Sultan a lot of uh, Gaja around there. Elephant. So one day the Gajah become night in the become more all day. So they, what they say? They say, oh, this one is a Gajah club. But another question people say is, the Indian come, they say, no, 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 you know Gajah Pira is anyone. They call Ganjipura. Because you're all from Ganjipura. I say, I'm not from Ganjipura, I'm from Malaysia. So they say, no, because Gajah Pira, Ganjipura is a small town where all the people be there. So all the traders only will stop at Karika Patana. Oh, Kanjipura. So, but today we don't know in the map is Kanjipura is there or Kalinga Patana is there or what? Because Madras they can change state, Beijing they can change name, so everything they will change. So today I don't know because I never go to India yet. Okay, Maratha Raja Mudalya, a Hindu was a Shah Panda in Malaysia. So Raja Mudalya, Mudalya is a caste, is a warrior actually. So when they are warriors, they become more powerful. So when they become, they become the Shabana, because Shabana is control all the ports. Nina Sura Dewana Kitul is one of the Nina Chiti. See, Nina Sura Dewana is a Nina Chiti descendant. So they are working in the palace those days. Mani Purinda Hindu came from India. Okay, this is an epic of Mani Purinda. There's a book. But I never see the book yet. What they're written in Tamil. If I read, I also don't understand. So if they are in, they are in, they are in, they are in, I will say. See. Mani Purinda married to Dun Rana Sadira, daughter of Sri Narayan Raja. 
and they got to Tunwati and Tun Ali. So this is what how the Indians went to the trade went to this one and become Tun Akwati and Tun Ali. Malaka. Sultan Muhammad Shah married to Tunwati. They had a son, Raja Kase. Now they become Indian Muslim. The first is Indian, then now they become Indian Muslim. Tun Ali replaced his grandfather as Sri Nara the Raja. Position was second to the king. So he became the Sri. But those days they like to use the Indian uh, uh, language, Sri Nara, the Raja, La Sri Wat, some sort like that. So he became the position to the second king, Tun Ali. Raja Kassim becomes Sultan Mansur Shah and Guru Nanaka. See, from Sultan Mawad, he becomes Raja Kassim. Raja Kassim was a Muslim now. From this time he arose, Temenggong Tun Tai, Benara Tun Mutai, Temenggong Tun Hassan was, uh, was there. The import of Tamil speaking Indian in Malacca Sultanate was a prey, uh, apparent. So Tamil speaking is there still, but the religion is Muslim. So because of the Malama, the Indian Muslim prey is coming in, so they, they, they say that uh, they, they, they impose uh, what, they call the, uh, what they call the Islamic. So the Indian was not giving the uh, Hindu much. Indian traders, Tamil, claim Gujarati, Malabari, Marakayara, Bengali traders, Dukan, Malaika. So a lot of traders was come here, that is Tamil, is claim. Tamil is a claim that is a chichi. The, the Gujarati, the Malabari, is the most small. Tom Paris noted that the claim bring the most honor to the Malaika. So Tom, in the Tom Paris, uh, written book, he said, most of the claim to bring honor to the Malaikas because they come here to do, to boom up the economy, not to chase the Sultan or to kill the Sultan. Malaikas began with the population of about 2,500 2, and in 1510, at around 40,000 to 50,000 people with about 84 languages spoken. So we imagine that those days in Malaika fought around here, how many people was there? I met a lot of people. So a lot of languages are decided. Cutting up a talent they just become clay. <laughs> so I think you all know what is a clay. Next time people say clay, then you know how to explain to them. Ah, clay is not a bad word. Huh? They gave me the money because they think that clay is a bad one. <laughs> the formation of local born Tamil Hindu community in Malaysia. The Indian treasures had been allocated a village Kampung Kale. This community, Chichi community, was first landed in Malacca, is in Kampung Kale. You know the Chichi are staying now, doing the money land. That is the area they have stayed. That's why they built one temple called Sri Kurada Vinayagam Muthi Temple beside the mosque for them to be seen for prayer. Okay, the Sri Kurada Vinayagam Muthi Temple, the elephant god, Poyada in Tamil written there, Poyada means that the Chiti cannot tell lies. Tamil was decided, the Poyada, when we go and pray there, we cannot tell any lies, we must tell the truth. So this is what they, they put there. Okay. As only men came to Malacca and some had to stay long to take care of their trade, they married local women. Okay, what happened is this, why, how come the Chiti was born in Malacca? And where, so the men, all, all the way from India, they came here to do training. They got wife in India, actually. They got cake, everything. So because of monsoon wind, six months, yeah, six months went back to India. Last time, no Indian ship. Forget no Indian ship. You want Indian ship, you wait. When this century, we can get Indian ship. So those days, they use the uh, wind to follow the wind. So it takes you six months. <coughs> so what happened here? These people have two wives. One in India, one in America. So when I was six months here, I am this wife. When I was six months here, okay, in India, I am this wife. So this is what happened. They said they were married to a local woman, but they practice Hinduism. They name their children in Hindu. They speak, but the only thing they don't teach the children Tamil. The language will follow the mother, Malay. The costume will follow like Malay. The food will be more Malay. We don't take this uh, Tose or nowadays we take like those days forget about Tose, like we don't know about Tose. You tell me Italy, Badi, all I don't know. I know only uh, they call Samba Blanchan, Chinchalo, Ariwan. I know. 
A cross was found in the compound of Raja Mandaya, a prominent Hindu merchant proving that Indians were accepting Christianity at that time. Okay, some of the cities they found out the Hindu religion is not strong for them. So another one they want to become good to the Christianity and to move to do more trading better. So what they do they convert some of them convert. But some will still live because they are some of it, they stay back to Hindu. I think a few of them will convert to Christianity. That's why there is no record saying how many convert to Christianity. And then they, in those days they don't like. So now I have to think how many to come. <laughs> the rich Hindu traders had brought with them the helpers, dobies, cooks, builders and wardens, and some of them helped the Portuguese elites. So you see the Hindus, the traders, the higher caste will bring the lower caste, like the name Rajan Dobi, okay, you know that is your job. Your job only to wash clothes, you cannot be cooked. Or Rajan Cook, and then you become the cook. You cannot be other. That is their terms of the given to you. If you are a, uh, 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 worker, then you become that. If you are a corner, you look after corner. Some villages even lend money to the Portuguese. Yeah, those are the rich city. They will lend money because the Portuguese, you know, they like to train and enjoy. So what happens is it? They lend money. That's how the Portuguese like the, the, the cities. The Dutch period, 1641 to 1791, the Dutch did not cross the Indian Muslim. The Indian, Hindu or Muslim traders who were sent to people to the Portuguese. See, the Dutch don't like much with the cities because the cities were good to Portuguese. And they more like the Gujarat. So whatever reason, this Chittis was a bit pushed away. So that is the moment where the Chittis fall down. The trading fell all the way. So that moment, many of them left back to India. Because they found out we cannot do anything down here. So some of them still live here. What they do? They build, become a, a open factory, doing bricks. Uh, become farmers, whatever they can survive. Because for them to bring back their local wife to India is a big problem for them to answer to in India. You know what happened? If they bring back to India, these local women, they can't speak them up. And they don't practice Indian, uh, Indian culture. They practice their culture. So when they back to India, the wife will start to fight. So whatever, the husband says, no, whatever you are, I stay here. I will go back to India. Dead, forget about them. So they left their family there and they stay there until today. So where the city is come out. So this is what happened to the city. <coughs> <coughs> so a lot of people mistaken. Most of them don't go back. I, I know there's my family is there, but I don't know where which part of India. So this the city make a make mistake, make mistake, actually they should bring the wife together. So because why in Hindu customs they say the wife cannot cross the sea. See, in Hindu customs they got one law. The wife must take care of the house and the kids. Only the husband has to go out. So this is what happened. Ah, this is what happened. That's why they are left there and they marry another wife. Okay. The telling village that Kupe was raised later become Kampung Blanda. So there's a fire there and from there the chickens from there, we go to Kampung Tenkera. Uh, if you know Tenkera, a uh, police station behind, what a police Tenkera? Behind the police station. The current village was moved to the interior. Those who had raised families in Matthew stayed back and had to resort to El Bajar for a week. So, most of them were run to Tenkera because there's a land for them. They like to stay near the sea, so they got the sea there. And most of them try to live the living, either agriculture or become anything what it is. But today there is no agriculture anymore. There is no traders, all become working okay in the office. <coughs> Population in Malacca during the Dutch period. 1678, the Malay 6893, Chinese 760. The Indian is 761, Europeans and Christians are 2,514. So, I think the Christian is more than the locals. Then, 1750, we got Malay is 3,650. The Chinese will be 2,161. 
India is 1,520, still very low. Aeroplanes will be 2,339. 766, the Malays will increase to 3,135, the Chinese is 1,390, the Indians is 1,693, the Europeans is lower down now, 1,668. Then in 1817, the Malays is bigger population, 1,300,988, and the Chinese still 1,606, the Indians is 2,900. So this is the population during the dash period. Population invested during the dash period. In 1678, the following contribution, the Indian population in record, 372 males Jaintus Hindu. Those days they don't call Hindu, they call Jaintus. And the most is Muslim. 100 women, 75 children, 35 slave men, 51 slave women, 128 children slaves. See, the same children is more than the post. Send it to children, but the children for the same is more than the, the post children. Population infected during the Dutch period. The Dutch governor, Barasta, bought a report that 27 of the 185 luxury brick house and 32 of the 583 ethnic house were inhabited by the English. So, this governor has written, says that. 185 luxury brick homes during the Kampung Plaza time. Most of 27 was belong to the cities and 583 at the house was belong to the 32 were belong to the cities. So, see how many, how, how rich they are and how poor they are. Do this. See the Indian when they are rich, they are rich. When they are poor, they are very poor. So this is what happened here. The Indian Muslim traders had emerged <coughs> as a force during the period exclusive of the Indian. So the Indian Muslim at that time, when the Hindus fall, the traders of the Hindu fall, the Indian Muslim tried to conquer that for the trading. Those who stayed back due to the family region began to lose their contact with India. So most of them who stay here, left here, they go, okay, because those days got no telephone. Only I can go back by ship, no plane. So forgetting about plane. So if you don't go back, they mean you lost contact of your family. So they don't know how to contact. Yes, I also lost contact in India. Lucky I never got contact in India. Because I got contact in India, I also finish. <laughs> go back there, I was going to finish. The first land granted by the Dutch. The Dutch were the first to issue land grants in Malacca. So the Dutch given the first one who had issued a land grant. The Hindus, the Chinese, the Indian Muslims were given the land title beside each other in 1781 in Goldsmith Street, now become Harmony Streets. Most of the said the Sri Point of United Temple is belong to the Chetia. No. The property is belong to the Manic, the, Ch the Chichi community. The management is the Chetia. Because why? We are very far from the town, so we leave the Chetia to look after the temple. And one more, the Chetia say to us, we got no temple to pray, so never mind, you manage property is ours. So today's death is their lost receipt, in written receipt. The Kapitan Kapunkaling who received the land for the Sri Puhada, the Nayagam Murti Temple was Devanagam Chichi. Okay, Mr. Devanagam Chichi is the first fellow who was in, uh, received the land for the temple of Sri Puhada, the Nayagam Murti Temple. Where I will show you the land grant for you. This temple is the oldest Hindu temple that is still in use in Malacca, in Malaysia. And it's very old, I think about 100 over, 100 over or 200 around there. And still used and still maintained. The building is still maintained. And we got three chariots. Three chariots means uh, whenever they go to prayer, they will put the goddess, one of them, and bring crown over there. I think some ceremony you can see the Indian ceremony. All the current properties of the Malacca Chitti community are in the trust in the name of this temple today. So whatever our temple name, whatever our land, whatever our uh, assessment, whatever access we got is under the name of Sri Pada Vinaga Purti Temple. They call STV and T. Sijil, Vajaran, Vocational. Okay, this is the Dutch one you can see. My Sri Pada Vinaga Temple. 
originally in the second one, the reason why you want to divide and this was ocean, the land, given the how big the land is. And this is another written on that, and this is a big you can see I think you write the Sri Vada Vedanta. But he doesn't write Sri Vada, he writes Sri Istiri Veda Vinayaka. Under the British period, under the British, like the laws is trading center status. So a lot of uh, British you know that they like to be at the station and most of the traders lost to it. As India was you know, also under the British rule, the movement of the Indian traders came under their control. Okay, during the British, you see the British bring undermining people. Undermining people is the combi. And there is another question, they say the Chitti come during the British said. But I say no, 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 we come earlier. I come with a ship with the wind, you come with a ship with the charcoal, that's why you want that back. <laughs> 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 so again, the Zambi will be saying, no, 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 you can't bring it. I said, no, 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 I can't find the traders. You are not traders, you are all committed, you are all committed, you are all local. And you all stay in the estate and make it very I never do good realization. I sit down there and see like, oh no. So there is a mistake, a lot of people are mistaken about that, mistaken about that. Uh, actually, uh, during British, they bring these people from Andaman Island because they don't know where to put them. A lot of them there, when they bring them to, to working in the railway station, or estate, or in the, doing the, what they call, uh, cleaning the uh, drain, anything, but making the power road, and they, they is their job. But the chief is never going to do really, I don't know how to do really. You ask me to do really, I don't know. To put a car also, I don't know. To cut the rubber tree also, to cut the rubber also, I don't know. So, you know, I don't know from under my angle. The metal point in the community concentrate in agriculture activities in Gajabana, Tekera, Limongai and Pashan areas. Okay, those days the Chitis have a very vast land. It's from the Gajabana, Tekera until this uh, they call Trogado. But because of their low income and they got no steady income, so they sell by one by one. So that is where why left this this campo or even Tekera also no more city, left one, left one away. Why they, 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 they don't sell all the land that I'm staying now? Because there is a temple there. I cannot sell the land in the temple. If I sell the temple and the land, they finish. So that's why they still got the temple, because the temple, the land is still there. If not, if the temple is not there, the land is gone. Temple and shrine sprung up in all these agriculture sites. There are a lot of temples. Actually, the city has got nine temples in Naika. We are taking care of nine temples. So after this, I will show you the temple. The Blanca Chichi is the Blanca born into community. Okay, features. Malay is originated from India, particularly from Tamil Nadu. Map, Mukul woman, Malay or Bata or Javanese. Malay language are used as language for the communication. So we communicate in uh, Malay. My mother is saying, my father is Chichi, I don't know how to speak Tamil. I don't know how to speak Chinese. I only need two languages. Chinese and Malay. Eh, English and Malay. Then also if I, I go to the English school, if I don't go to English school, forget about English. Then I only can speak one language. So one Malay, but last year I went to English school, I speak two languages. So here's one. Even today we read Tamil. Tamil uh, in, uh, in Tamil version of one they do for the <coughs> singing song for the day once or the next one. They have to write a romanized voice. Then we can read. If not, we cannot. But the next generation of me, they can speak Tamil. Because they married to Indian girl. Men, Indian men, and they, they are, they now they say, is, I should be with the Tamils. So they are different. To me, I say, no, no, you are Tamil, I'm a Chitti. I am Chitti, I'm a Chitti. I cannot be a Tamil. I should be not what I am. City of Hindu faith, Saiwa. Okay, these people are Saiwa faith. Saiwa faith means the god of seven slippery. So are they very staunch Hindu? Whatever I can be Hindu is my religion. I cannot change to Christian, I cannot change to Muslim, I cannot change to other. Hindu is my religion, so they hold Hinduism. I think today we are being injected like that. You Hindu must be Hindu, you cannot be other race. And that's why you see, but some of them marry. Not say they don't marry the Muslim. They marry the Muslim, they marry. 
Bahwa itu di merit to Muslim, we still accept that as a cheat. Are you married a Christian, we still accept you as a cheat. Not saying you married a Christian, you still accept you as a cheat. We still our community. You only change the religion, but your blood is still the cheat. The trading cards, cheat or cheat, was dominantly ruled with the followers of from 10 other cards. So this is how I tell you, I tell you, the dominant card is the cheat, because you got a lot of money. So the rest of the cards will follow them under their roof. Originated from the Mecca Sultanate period in the edition through the Portuguese Dutch British period. So most of them are originated during the Dutch period and the Portuguese or the British. Different from the Tamil immigrants after the British occupation of Mecca. The Tamils came during the occupation of British. You see, why? Because the British, in every station, they like the soundness. Uh, sound is very strict and they won't. They are forced to understand they are very strict. That's why the British like Indian. Because the British go in here, so they use Indian. So that's why where the, they call the Adaman Ayu people come. So, see, most that time and during British time, most of the cities, they try to find job in the British era. In office, as office club or anything. So what they do, if I'm a writer, I must change my name to place. Because the children is a lot of place. So when you got name, neither of them play, ah, you got a job. And you got neither of them a job, okay, next round, you get a great people, you get a great time, you go into you. So there's a lot of place change. Most of them, my ancient is what? One of them change to play. Certain children change to play. That's why in the city you see a lot of people, because like those days, the British time, I want to get a job to secure my life. So I changed my name. From Raja or what? I changed to Pile. Then I got a job. As long as I got a job. So a lot of cities in Dhamdeh they changed. Because of what? The temple and shrines. The Sri Puradan Raya Mukti Temple, Bosni Street, was built in 20 August 1781. Sri Kalasan Temple, Sivan Rajagaran, Koyal Baru, 29-18-87. Okay, why we call Koyal Baru? You see, our temple, you, now only I can pronounce the Kalasanada temple. Those days I don't know. Whenever the prayer says, we say, often and then, okay, you go to Kuei Baru. So we know, oh, the Kuei Baru here. Why they call Kuei Baru? Because the Vinayaka temple is town. So they make another temple, Shiva temple in the Gajagara. So to name, nickname, they put Kuei Baru. That is the old temple, this one is the new temple. So this is where, we can differentiate. Which temple to pray? Koyal Manu, Koyal Kolamusa, or Koyal Dene, and then we know. Koyal Gaja, and then we know. So these are only names we give to them. The Sri Mutumariman Temple of Gajagara. Very well known in Mecca, Dato Chacha by the Babas. Every time the Dato Chacha pray, they will go. So why did they say Dato Chacha? Because they got the chicken pox. And you must go to the temple there, to cure. So this is why they Whenever, those days we call Kamun Gaja, whenever the Baba, the Nunya, hear about this temple, oh, that's the Gaja, must go. Till today, they, they are still coming. So, the Baba will believe this Gaja Gaja Gaja. That's why you go, you go to around the town, you tell Mariam the temple, they don't know. You call Gaja Gaja Gaja, ah, I know. Where can they go? The Sri Andhra Param, Sri Andhra Param Swara Temple Gaja Gaja, they call Kulam Gaja. Okay. It's built in one uh, first May 1888 and now it's under Jabatat and why they call Kolam Sa? Because inside the temple they got one outside got one big uh, well and inside got one small well. So when the prayer comes, you will take uh, two uh, I think two buckets, not two buckets actually, it? it's a two big square of four by four uh, box what? and you fill water and every time they will pour the water. During the prayer, each one will pour water inside. So how many water go up there? Fill, it doesn't fill. So. The water is still going, but don't know where the water goes. There is a problem, we don't know. We don't know where the water goes. Well, how much is it? Even they bring only one, we tested one time, one only bring, we pour inside there, still the water is there. There is nothing overflow. So we don't know where the water goes, that's why we call it Kolamsa. Then we got the small temple, they call Brahmandal Temple. In Tamil, the Brahmandal Temple, that means the temple belongs to each of the castes. So each temple belongs to each caste. 
when the Sri Island Temple Bantam is built 11th day, 11 February 1754. So belong to the place. Okay, why? They build this small small temple because they got a pedifield. So pedifield, they must put one uh, one of their who pray to their deities, their, their family deities, so they put there to look after the pedifield. So today, that's why we got nine temples. But nine class was there, become nine temples. The second is Dharma Raja Temple, where well, Dharma Raja. Then in 15 September 1770, there is my temple. Uh, then the Sri Amman Temple, the Kuala Amman. And then the Katayu Temple, is Katayu Temple. And Kaliman Temple now, those days, I think whether you remember, you are a method, uh, Tanjong Motu. Now there's a mall. The mall, actually the entrance of the mall is the temple. And now they shift to the other side, near to the power station. Then Langadini Temple, going in it. This is the temple you can see. Uh, this is the Amal Temple, Dharma Raja Temple, and then this uh, Kalyaman Temple, uh, this is the Aglaman Temple, Katayaman Temple, Sri Moeda, Sri Temple, Sri Baru, Temple and Shrine. Many shrines have been destroyed when vast piece of agriculture and lands were sold off by the cities. Owners of the land to use during the British period. So a lot of land was sold to other Chinese people. Because of why? But they got no money on it. So they sell them. And most of the temple was break. The only debt was not sell because they are still got money to sell the not sell. If not, they will sell then we got no land that we left in temple. You are more interested to join the government service for a monthly salary. So most of the youth would like to join the government so that they got a monthly salary. Now by like this they cannot survive. Interest in agriculture won and is currently still. So interest in agriculture was gone and no more. So I wrote earlier. Trading, agriculture, no more of it. Today we only know only what is written. Chitty village, situated in Gajanya. About 23 Chitty families in the village. About 150 Chitties was staying there. Total Chitty population is better and measured not more than 1,000 percent. Okay, in the Chitty village, there is 50 houses. You minus from 23, 27 is belong to the Chinese. So the Chinese more than Chinese. Because why? Those days, the land was vacant, the Chinese was there, and they asked the Indian to uh, build their house in the Kampo. So what happened is the Indian said, no, 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 I don't want it. You be celebrating my area, and my, my children will follow you speak the, uh, Malay, and they forgot about them. Besides that, that, that time, during that time, the Chitti Sedanian was very far. There is a gap there. Only now we are good to that. Those days, don't look the Indian, we forget about them. You say, what? Okay, this is the planned village of the Lord, 94, 95, 118. Okay, this is the plot, this one, you can see the houses there, the color color one. Okay, here is what we call Lord 94, 118, 138. 128. All is not. The color, red color is belong to the Chitty Sums. The rest is Chinese. Okay, the cars, the Chitties, Chetty, Naikan, Padiachi, Pandaran, Reti, Mudaria, Kalan, Honor, Raja, Pilen, Pandar. Reti is gone no more day. Pandaran is still there. Kalan no more day. Honor is left one day. Migration. Many have migrated to Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. Very few maintain ties with the Chitti village. So because those is straight settlement, most of them want to higher, uh, higher uh, salary, so they went to Singapore. So that's why, actually Singapore Chitti is more than the Malaykans. Like like but most of the Singapore Chitti are converted to Christians and Muslims. But they still could not say. Some of them say, I know a play. I, I went there, I know a play. Of course, because I know a chitty. You know. Yeah, I know. They have white play, alpha play, all the main Christian in front, they are in play. The organization of the chitties, they are using the panchayat system. The panchayat system, like the Indian in Tamil, you see, they go one chief, you will see under that, become the judge. 
So if you're wrong, then you say you are wrong. So this is what. But here we use trustees, the three trustees to look after the community. They need to uh, maintain the affairs of the community. The land is under the trustee name. Social, anything is under the trustee. The trustee deed was written on 12 March 1962 by one of the lawyers in Malaysia. The Chichi village occupied was 28, 94, 95, 118, and 138 in Gajagra. And for your information, in 144, lot 144, in Ongkini, we got about one acre. But they sell half of it because they want to build one temple, the porch in front of the temple, Sri Mutumaya. They sell for 30,000. That is 1962. 1963 around there. See, we lost one land because of what? Because we built the temple. Because we don't have money to take care of nine temples. We don't give you so much money. That's why we see when the temple is there, one house, three, four houses, the house that we collect the rent is to pay the assessment of the temple and to maintain the temple every month. The Chichis, Chinese houses in the village. In 1950, many Chinese built in the Chichi village on nominal rate of one dollar to two ringgit. They built this their land land for the Chichi the land we stay in the Chichi land is one to two ringgit. In 1980, in 1960s, 1960 or 1970, they increased to 10 ringgit, and now it's 25 ringgit per month. It's very cheap in town, you cannot get in town. But I think the GT made a mistake. Like that. <laughs> now 52 Chinese houses are in the village alongside. Only 27 Chinese houses, the GT houses were there. So, very far. Economy, education, levels. <coughs> higher educated youth have migrated. Most of the higher, Learned to migrate to KL or other countries. Higher earners have also migrated. Lower earners will be, the lower education level were in the village. So, like me, lah, were lower educated, but I'm not so low educated as she. <laughs> so, what we'll be saying, inevitably, we have a study plan for the community. So, this lower income, we don't, don't have the idea how to make the community become more prosperous. Community are not in a set for things. This is a truth. The community is not connected. A, B, C, D. So that's why the community cannot be. You know, like, small community is like that. White ends, white, black ends, red, red ends, and all down there. <laughs> the government involved. More from a tourist angle. Okay. We are looking for a tourist angle. Small grant for participating of events. Help to build a museum. Help to build a multi purpose hall. How to build arch entrance for the city village. So the government helped us during the So they helped to build one version to 2003. The arch, the entrance in the arch, they built in 1990 something, 92 or 93, I'm not mistaken. Then recently they built one hall, I think three years ago, three to four years ago, they built one hall. You know it's the land that is under the land at number 1988. On Lot 94, 95, 118, 138, and 38. It was stated, you can see, we were going to the museum, beside the museum, you can see this lot. The, the, the city village was preserved as city culture village on 18 June 2000 by our chief minister, Dr. Ali Rasta. But these are all the preservation letters that is the, 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 the chief minister. So we Celebrate it more bigger. Actually, this is where there is a road coming in, in the Kampung goes. So the road will come from Jalan Bandung right up to Pulau Bandung. And what happened is that about 10 to 11 houses of PCT will go, taken off. Then if you see, once the front portion taken off, then left only five city houses in the Kampung. Grant money or money from the government to upgrade the city heritage. So about 200,000 were given. City committee was given to have a museum. So my thing was there. Museum to be open at city village. Uh, 2003, 5th of August was open. And city museum officially by chief minister of 5th of August 2000. Our chief minister was the uh, officer for this uh, museum. And you see the chief minister, uh, you know what happened is when the chief minister is sitting on the dais and he's telling me what, uh, there is no cheating woman to get married before I will marry now. So, he's a <laughs> And this is all, a uh, plot that's signed by the, our chief minister. 
And I would normally tell him, Muhammad Khalid, Yaakob, is it 50 million, 50 December, 2 zero is fine. You know why? And our Sheikh Khalid, former minister, uh, what, uh, tourism minister, Billy Kamujiti, Tamil language, very few can speak the language. Yeah, very few, not a lot can speak. Tamil film songs keep them in touch with the language. Yeah, they listen to the Tamil song, they listen to the song. Interaction with local Tamil speaking population is slow. So we in the Tamil, to speak the Tamil in our local land is very slow. It doesn't speak much. Tamil words denoting the religious spiritual matter are used clearly in their parent language. So most of the language in spiritual or religious will use more to romanize it. Art open performance. Has been active in Donald Science with the Babas. Moses, the Babas, the Chichis, the Portuguese, the Malay, they were seeing Donald Science as they like. So if you need by our Donald Science or if you want to ask them to play, you have to go to zero to twelve o'clock in the night, call them to wake up and play. So they all the rest in peace. Some of them used to be good in playing Sunai and other instruments in the olden days. So the mama used to say, oh, 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 and then they did it all. But today we don't know how to play because they bring together. They die to bring all the way to together. The Institute of Jani Munaka is trying to encourage the other science singer from the Chiki company. So they got now, they have learned. Festival and culture fights. Marangal Festival, main festival for Raku Kacha. It will be happen on uh, mid April or earlier May. So this is where you can see the Chinese cooking and dancing and all the Chinese trying to show their colors at the time. Community members from the other parts return for this festival, but the number is too late. Okay, this is where the people only most of the community doesn't come back. In Singapore anyway. But during one example they will come back. It's like people only goes. Suddenly a big celebration. You can see all the uh, villagers will come back from all over the which country they go, they will come back. It's a must for them. If you don't come back, that means something will be missing in this year. In dress food, there are many assimilation features. Okay, dress and food, more to believe. Like this one, I use this one, they call sakutana, not tanpa. Because why? When they want to use, they need time. Now, now I use it, I, I saw it. Uh, <laughs> so you know me, they will put on the shoulder here. When they want to use, they will tie here and put. Because this knee is the same in their head. Okay, they will do. But I don't know how to die. <laughs> the rituals in religious ceremony done at home are very traditional in place of local food, favor. Okay, ritual in the house, they will do like bongan or bogi. Bogi means uh, they pray to the ancestor. Chinese pray to Chinese. They pray that, they pray in the house. So you put 21 dishes in Nasi Lama and pray to the ancestor. Temple ceremony are similar to those other temple except the liberal used by the Malay language. Language, the ceremony all will be same. Issue and problem faced by the Chiti community. <laughs> issue of the Chiti village under law 94, 118, 138, and 144 at the year of 14 August 1993. Actually, a lot of issue was faced by the community. If issue of a road, I will be going through Chiti village on law 94 and 118 in the year 1995. Issue of the Chiti graveyard at Jolotum Batu Pradam Road. 444, year 4th of November 2005. The issue of the building going to be Mr. Chichi Lot 93 at the year 14th of October. Now it's on going. This is the issue that is on going. Okay, this article written by Mr. Narada Sami to oppose the road to the Chichi village. Memorandum to the Chief Minister to cancel the road. Red Yard Rex, this project, Lot. Or for for Jolotong Batubadam, where the trustees are not part now. They make a mess out there. They ask the bulldozer to cut all the tree and wreck all everything to take all the land to make money. Doesn't inform the community. Say so whatever they want to do in the community project or what they have to back inform the community in AGM. Unless the community doesn't approve, then you cannot go to it. If the community approves, then you can do the project. So this one happened. So oh, most of the children was destroyed by the contractor to do very. So I was the one who took action because most of the graveyard was lost. And this before, the look of the graveyard before the project, now it's called RIP, rest in peace. Okay. After the project started, there is a view of the graveyard. Now no more called RIP, but called RIF, rest in fear. <laughs> rest in fear, not fear because the bulldozer will come walking on it. This one, I feel 
So this one, I want to see the graveyard. Gone. Most of that is lost. Some graveyard was already. You know where? So we cannot find. Most of the graveyard was broken. This Arnas Building Project initiatively commanded by Mr. Nanasek regarding the project as a academy. So the project was started, decided the temple was more than temple. Decided the temple was 22 story. Now the 22 story, the other side, become 11 story now. Because we fight for it. Uh, the developer agreed to meet Chichi community over the project on 24 November 2010. So the developer agreed to discuss, but we have discussion. Skylab with the Malayka mayor, that time was Yusuf Jantan, and ESCO member, which is the of the Malayka against the high rise building. So a lot of uh, uh, argument was there. They stopped for four years. After that, now after election, they start again. So we cannot do it because that is their land, not our land. City Kodim was worried their culture will be fed up after, in fact, the temple has been due to the high rise building present near the village. So once the high rise go up, the temple will look like one of squatters. There we are very really worried. City Committee are worried culture will fit up, comment Mr. Nara Shami. Comment the Chinese people regarding the high-rise building. The feature of the committee. The number is winning. The number of the committee is not stable. It's really. Some say they are different. Some do say they are different. Economically, politically, and educationally, the committee is weak. Those days, but now, they are very strong. They are university. They were MP. They were going to university. And they are higher education only. The committee is considered an asset for the tourism industry, but does not have the art forms to fulfill this form. So they are asset for tourism, but they cannot fulfill because such a small community, we cannot get much of them. Pranji is mounting on the alternative use is the Chiti Village there. So the land that we have is very precious now because they want alternative land, but we cannot get any land now. So only Protecting the house. <coughs> there are no champions for the cost. So there is no good leaders to look after the community. And then the last is there is no good leaders to lead. And then the leaders must be educated and they have a vision, mission for the community, then the community will be more well. Conclusion. The Mother Chitty community originated when the influence of the Tamils was great in this region. Those days when they are 15th century, they are the great. And today they are not the great. <laughs> The individualism of this community was a sole factor that maintained the distinction of this community. So the Hindu religion is the one who the community. Currently, despite a sizable Tamil presence in Latin, this community is not looking towards the Tamil language or the Tamils for its denizens. So we doesn't look the Tamil language to be our first language. We put it as a second language, but our Malay mother tongue is the first language. So we doesn't bother about Tamil language. But now the new generation they bother about it. They put the Malay in the second language. But there is wrong with This community needs help if it's to survive to the next century. So it needs a lot of help, like poverty. But the community doesn't want to go out. So they say they are still, because why they said they are practicing everything, but they forgot. One day, one day they were lost. The comment on the future community, the globalization, will from the media as well. So there was comment by the uh, one of the scholars about the Chiti. The comment from the scholar telling how many years the Chiti will be still alive here. They are still around like that. They, they put up in about 50 to 60 years now. So once that they finish, then the commission is no more. Then you can hear only Kampung Chiti, but people no more. Like Kampung Belanda, but people no more. The forgotten community from the Singapore media. This is the forgotten community, this is in Singapore, written. We are talking about the Chichi community from Singapore and India. And lastly, lastly, I was an heritage activist in Hans that we should preserve the, our own heritage of all ethnic and old language. Don't destroy the value of sentiment and passion because of modern technology. Preserve not to destroy the heritage of old language. Thank you. See you all in the next for Chichi Gandhi. Kalau ada sumur di ladang, boleh ikut tumpah madi. Kalau ada umur yang panjang, boleh kita bicara warisan cikgu lagi.
Thank you, Madam President. I think uh, it was quite an enlight enlightening talk. We learned many new things actually about the GT community, which most of us know a little bit of. For me, I learned a lot. I grew up in Trinkera. I had GT friends as well. I worked in government offices where I worked with some GT uh, gentlemen as well. So it was very interesting and very enlightening indeed for me personally, and I hope that it was for you as well. Now, um, we have time for some questions. Uh, any of you who would like to ask questions, please ask one question at a time, so that my brother will be able to answer you. Well, I'll give you about, uh, say, 10 minutes for question time. Please put up your hand if you wish to ask a question. The name P-A. P-I-L-L-A-I. 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 Are they all GTs? Uh, no. You see, P-I-L-L-A-I is the task from the Salonis. Salonis, okay. P-I-L-L-A-Y is the task from the Tamil. So now the GTs here. Uh, P I L L A Y. A Y. Not I. I is the sound. Is. Normally you see the sound is the play. Oh. Play. Different machine. What is it? The company is Akma play. But the machine is play all the same. All the way they will put one, one, one sound. Play, play, play. Next question, please. Anybody have a question? No. Yes. Okay, those days, those days the Chetiyar, Natukotai Chetiyar, there is a town we call Natukotai Chetiyar. So they are rich, actually, for money. So those days in British time, there is no bank there. No bank. What they do? The British bring them to become the bankers. So that's why they are the only money lenders in the They are very rich. They call a lot of them. So they are called the Chetiyar. And the Chetiyar doesn't mean with the, the local agents. It means around with them. So these British bring them, that's a bankers. But some of them, they cheat the local people. They are very good in going and cheat. <laughs> this is uh, That's why we call them. I mean, we, we don't, we doesn't much uh, do them. But they are different from us. So, we, so uh, are these people in this Chinese people, are they related to those in Malacca? No, the Chiti are in Malacca, yeah. Not the Chiti in Malacca. The Chiti in Malacca is the traders. The Chetia are the money lenders. So the Chetia they got in Nipo, in Penang, in Kua, uh, uh, in Jorba, in Kua. They got their, 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 their groups. That's why you must, you must remember, the Chetis, the Chetia. The Chetia is money lenders. The Chetis are traders. Now you want to give me money, they are not money lenders. <laughs> There's much influence that that is the road in Ipoh, whose name is Jalan Chiti. Ah, they thought they are JTR on there. So JTR, they can speak Tamil, they go back to India. But they cannot be found in Tamil. They got a few of them. Because they got, they, they want to still India, they go back to India. They cannot speak Tamil very well, they only can speak Tamil. Uh, like me, I cannot go back to India. I go back to India, I don't know, I don't know which part of the video, so I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Princess. Yeah, um, well, it doesn't surprise me that uh, there's some confusion between the Chetias and, and the Chetis because uh, I would like to relate to you an incident that took place some years ago when I went for a state function and uh, 
our good children, sir, that God in Rasa Tam at that time, even he could not make a clear distinction on that. And he kept referring at that forum to the Chitis as Chetias. And I seated with two of the Chiti community with me, and they were wincing uncomfortably, knowing that they were wrongly labeled. You know, so they were very a bit agitated, but they did not seem much. So uh, there's this misconception for us to think that the Chitis are Chetias. So I think we should be clear of that, that they are not Chetias. They are in their own right as Chitis. It's very important because I, I think it's not right for us to sort of give them a label unknowingly. You know, I mean, it's not that we want to offend them, but very often this happens and uh, I think we should know where they come from, who they are, and respect them, although there are only about a thousand of them here, they are a unique community, they are part of our history, and definitely a real heritage community as far as I can see. So, uh, any other questions, please? Yes, Joe. Hi, everybody, I'm Jessica. My is a friend of mine. We fought together to keep the road out of the village. Yes, that's why Black Heritage Trust was formed. That was the initial purpose. Anyway, the Chetias, you know, they have little tables. They are still on this first cross street behind us. Lots of them around. They actually helped the, community, the Chinese community after the Japanese came over because they lent a lot of money. And that is also how the Babas lost the money. <laughs> they were at their property because they lent and when they can't pay, you know, uh, yeah. so the Chetias grew richer and richer. The Chetis are a different class of Indians, you see. So even our internet, yeah, being a very uh, good uh, tool for education, made the mistake our own Malacca tourism at one time long long ago before Rosalie came. Um, they put Chiti and they showed the picture of the Chiti as the money lenders at their little team. Yeah, I wrote in and they very graciously corrected that. Thank goodness. Now, can I share something about the word Kaleng that I feel because uh, the earliest Chinese that were here were Hokkien's and they call these people from Kalinga Kalinga Lang so we call them Kalinga Lang, Kalinga So they, that's how the Kaleng came about. And again, on the internet, you have the story about the British, you know, uh, who brought the Indians over, and they were all in chains, and when they walk in the chain uh, thing, they get the Kaleng Kaleng sound, and that's how the Kaleng got the name, which is the wrong idea entirely. If you look at what, um, you know, uh, Rajan has said that the spelling word is used way before the British came here. You see, so this is just people associating the name after the fact. Okay, so the Kaling word is not a bad word. Right? Yeah, he is very proud to be a, a Kaling. Yes. yes, yes, and I'm very proud to be his friend. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Um, any other questions, please? Rosalie? Anybody? Okay, if uh, there are no questions, uh, yeah. Jocelyn, just think of the Indians who came here for 15 years and some of the banking method, some of the banking method. Why are they in Why are they in chains? They are complete. They are all gone. So they are caught in India and they were thrown to one island under one island. Like Florida Jardo says. So they were put there and when the British came here they brought them to because to build the road, we cannot take the road. What they call a uh, railway station, uh, estate. So the British brought them as water. They this thermal city. They can speak Tamil. And they doesn't work really also because they only go into the 
So they will be staying. That's why you see a lot of estate workers was from Andaman Island. And a lot of uh, uh, railway workers were from Andaman Island. Not from the village of Kalinga or Kaidipuram or from the Tamil Nadu. So both of them are not from there. That's why there is a confirmation about this. Some say I am from Andaman Island. I say how come I come from Andaman Island? My temple did 1781, 18, then how come I come from Andaman Island? Andaman Island came from before in the British team in 18 something. So how did they see what? How come I come from Andaman Island? They cannot become one. 1300 would be down here, but not recorded. So, you know, Andaman Island, I come from Andaman, from the Kaliga. But the clean from this one, they will see, no, 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 you also follow me to come. Ah, because why? They said there is a clean, some say the clean with a bell. Some play with the chain, playing, 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 playing. Uh, what do this now say? Kalinga people, yes, there is the worship. Kalinga, 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 Kalinga. Alright, thank you. So, I think that sums up our question time. Uh, now it's my pleasure to invite uh, Joe to present a token of our appreciation to Nagarajan. Okay, before that, yeah. I will yeah. to give you a once again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Joe, Joe, hold on. Just a moment. He wants to give you a souvenir in Yes. Uh, this is a clock of Chiti. Oh, Not a small one, uh, but it's a replica. I am uh, like to present to the heritage group for the kind of living to do the uh, Alright. Okay, thank you. So, uh, lastly, I'd like to thank to my friend, Mr. Pedro Raja, and Linda will help me to put up the exhibition. Okay, um, now, uh, there are some exhibits as you go out. There are two albums of photographs as well. You, you may browse through. So, uh, the night is not over. Let's have a little bit of fellowship after we aim with this talk here. There are some uh, drinks available over there. So, take your time to mingle around a bit of the of fellowship and have a good look at the exhibits that have been put out as well. Thank you and we bid you good night. Stay tuned for our announcement for next talk in October. Thank you very much. Good night.